Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So I have a new honeybee stamps haul to share with you guys. Um, it came in yesterday. Kind of looks like Christmas over here because all of this was in one bag of goodies. Um, but anywho, uh, welcome. If you're new to my channel, um, I hope you stick around this spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I just posted the winner to uh, the... I have two hidden giveaways going on this uh, past week. I just did the drawing for the first winner and it is up on the channel if you want to go see if that is you. Um, there is another hidden giveaway going on. Um, it's hidden, so I guess you have to go watch the videos to figure out. Um, I'm going to be pulling, doing that drawing tomorrow. <clears throat> so uh, you have until tonight uh, to find that hidden giveaway. And that hidden giveaway... Um, uh, I guess you come to watch the videos to figure out what the prize is. Um, that one is... Um, you yeah, have to look for it, and there's something you actually have to do. You don't have to send anything in, um, but you do have to look for it. Anywho, let's get to honeybee stamps. So, of course, there is always one of these cute little cards in there. Um, it just has contact details from them, and it says, um, enjoy coloring the other side. And I will. I love these. So there's that. Then, um, this was the freebie that I got in this order. This is a new freebie, apparently. So let's see what is inside. Um, have some cute little shaker bits. It looks like it's like a mix of just random um, shaker goodies. So I guess those are like donuts. There's flowers little beads, sequins, there's a heart in there, so all kinds of random goodness in there. Let's see what this is. Okay. Oh, how cute. So we have two pens and a teeny tiny little ruler. That's a pretty handy little container there. So there is that, and it says creative be creative so super cute really adorable um freebie from honeybee so there's that then i told you guys i had ordered some new pins to to go on i'm going to be making one of those um quilt quilting hoop um displays and I'm going to be putting all my random pins on it. I think I'm going to have to make another one. Because I'm getting a rather large collection of pins. So. These are all in the retiring list. So they are marked down. So, okay. First we have this super adorable little sheep. That fox is adorable. Then we have a little pot o' honey, a little bitty platypus. He is so cute. There was a bear too, but I just kind of left him. It, it probably would have been smart to get him and stick him next to the pot of honey, but hey. And then we have, I'm going to call him Mr. and Mrs. Chicken. We have the chicken and the rooster. So I, what are we going to call him? Foghorn Leghorn? <laughs> so anyway, I got those to add to <clears throat> that little growing collection and I, I love they always wrap the orders so, 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 like I said it's kind of like Christmas um, <clears throat> says embellishments so I think these are shaker bits that I ordered so we have happy mail bits and I've ordered these before I can't remember who but it was a really big order. So I got to say these are pretty small and I think these were like three and four dollars each. So they're kind of pricey. But I love these little guys. And then we have little peppermints. There's that. 
and little um, plumerias. And I love plumerias. So this is teeny tiny, but I haven't seen these anywhere else. So I'm probably going to order one more set because I can add these to mixes for shakers. But they are super, super cute. So there. My gray hairs. So, so there's that. Then, let's see. So we have some stamp sets here. And then, um, so this must be the dies. So let's go ahead and open this. That way I can <clears throat> share whatever I got sets of. So we're going to throw all this in the garbage over here. Um, there's my invoice. This. So, first one I'm going to share is this one. Yeah, he's always in here when I'm in here. So, I love the, I call him the ba, the blah bunny because he always looks kind of sad, but this one's called Hang In There. And so hang in there, well, crap, this stinks. <laughs> Here's a socially distant hug. I miss you, this sucks. Wish I could see you, I know so much. Dang it, is this far enough? And, but, you know, social distancing. And then you've got the toilet paper and then the bunny here holding a sign. And um, I saw some absolutely adorable stamping with this set especially with the toilet paper it was hilarious um so got that and then here's the matching die set so if you want you can cut out the sign um then you cut out the whole bunny and then here so if you want to do like dimensional this here are his little paws i guess you want to call them and then the one for the toilet paper so this one's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. So there's that set. Then this one, those who've been following for a long time know how much this particular stamp means to me. Um, when I was a little girl, my grandparents used to sing. Well, there's two things that you always say. Little Bunny Fru-Fru. So uh, hopefully some of y'all know Little Bunny Fru-Fru. And then there's, um, I love you a bushel and a peck. And to this day, I still do. I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. Um, if anybody's seen some of the videos downstairs, like at the Christmas tree, you know, I have that saying on my wall. Um, but there was this, um, stamp set and it's called a bushel and a peck. And you got the basket, you have your apples, um, and, you have leaves, you know, cause it's kind of fall. That's kind of when you do your apple picking. It says, I love you, a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. And then there was the matching dies. So I can layer this. So I'm going to be using this to make something for my grandparents because, um, this, this here means the world to me. I have so many wonderful memories with my grandparents. Um, so, yeah, so that, if we're, when I first saw it, I'm like, wait, th yeah, that's not that great. And then I'm like, wait a minute, apples? Because um, you have a bushel of apples. And then I think a, be a peck is also a measurement. Um, I can't remember what that is. But anywho, um, so I got that set. I was so happy about that. Then, does this go to anything here? Um, yeah, goes to this. So this little stamp set actually has a pretty big die set that goes with it. This is called Merry Christmas. And obviously we have Merry, Happy, Christmas, Holidays, and From Our Family to Yours. And this big whole stamp set. So you can actually cut out the Christmas, the holidays, and then um, layer them. So you have the shadow dies for... Um, those sentiments. You also have the same for the merry and the happy. You also have a long strip here for the from our family to yours. And then you also have the dies to cut out the holly, the, um, holly leaves and holly berries. So really, 
really great Christmas set to have. Um, especially if you like dimensionals and texture and stuff, that's going to have a lot of it. And the last die I got um, is this one. I got in one of the previous orders, I got the one that is just the squares. And I got this one, which is the rectangle window trio. And this is set so that you can cut multiple windows in the front of a project. And if you want to do shakers or like little critters or, or whatever, peeking through your windows. And they are stitched. So there's that. <clears throat> then we have this one that's called Grateful Each Day. Right here. Each day brings a new reason to be grateful. Today and every day, I'm so grateful for you. So I just thought that was a really cute stamp to have on hand to send out some, you know, like card to cheer somebody up. More of the I Love Christmas stuff. So this is Rejoice. So Joy to the World, Noel, Peace on Earth, Oh Holy Night, and Rejoice. And then we have this beautiful f um, floral spray over here. So, and then <clears throat> it even has the star. So, oh, holy night. So, there is that. Then this one is called Joy to the World. And this is just a whole bunch of sayings for Christmas. So, um, glory to God in the highest and on earth, goodwill towards men. God bless you this Christmas. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. He, his love endures. Luke 2.14 forever. Peace on earth, you have little notes. Sing to the Lord. Praise, Jesus is the reason for the season. Wise men still seek him. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands forever. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Oh, come let us adore him. So that is like, to me, this is like a great selection for Christmas cards. So there's that one. And then the last stamp that I got is their Angel Policy one, and I really love it. So we have From My Hands to Your Heart, Made by Me, Just for You, Handmade and Heartfelt, Handmade by Honeybee Stamps, Created by uh, Images. Um, so there's a copyright, there's XOXO, a little smooch kissy there. Um, a letter envelope to from please deliver to made with love. This is not junk mail. Long live snail mail. Consider this a paper hug sealed with a kiss. And then you have two bees, a heart, and a little grouping of flowers. So really, really cute set. If you want to use this to like decorate envelopes or the back of your card that you're sending. Um, but yeah. So, honeybee stamps. Um, there might be one more out there, but I, I, I'll have to look. Um, there is a new... I ordered the new release, uh, the Anita Jerem release from the Colorado Craft Company. So that'll probably be sometime next week. Um, I have a tonic craft kit that I will be sharing with you guys tomorrow on Sunday. So be on the lookout for that. And that's all I can think of at the moment. So tomorrow there's going to be three videos. There's going to be a short update on the craft room, the tonic craft kit video, and a another hidden giveaway drawing. So yeah. So be on the lookout for all of those. I want to thank everybody for your support. You guys have just been the best. Um, we know we had some drama going on last month and we kind of sort of nipped that in the bed. Um, and uh, then the hidden giveaway that's getting done tomorrow, those who, those who are doing that one, <laughs> they're great. I love it. Um, not giving any hints. Y'all gotta, if you want to be in it, you need to be watching the videos to find out how to enter. And it is in, you just have to watch the videos from this past week to figure out which one. Um, I have already done the drawing for this set. So if you find a video with this one, this one's over and done with. So the other hidden giveaway, there's something you have to do 
you don't have to send anything, but you have to do something. So, um, and I intentionally made it to where it doesn't show up in the comments. So you can't sneak peek through the comments to figure out um, if it's a hidden giveaway or not. So, anywho, I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Um, yes, I my headache is finally gone. That was like three days of miserableness. Um, so I'm feeling much better today, but we're playing catch up around the house. The husband's making chili. Um, I'm closing the Stampin' Up! party tonight, I think. Or maybe it's tomorrow morning. And um, so if you're interested in that, um, the information's down below in the description if you want to place an order with that party. Um, the link and the hostess code are there. So anyway, y'all have a great Saturday. Love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.